Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and start the second project in our introduction series. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up a browser window here and you can see the design that we're going to be working on for the project I'm calling Conte. And again this is just a fictitious website. And you can see here we've got a fading banner up the top that we're going to do a little bit later followed by a title bar and a menu that has some hover effects on it. We've got a collage that we're going to go ahead and do here in a content area, a bottom collage, and then finally the footer area. When we go into the About page, we're going to go ahead and develop an image gallery here. And You can see when I click on one of the thumbnails, I get the full size image come up. And we go to the menu page. Again, we're going to see some sample content here. And in this illustration, we're going to, or in this page, we're going to illustrate how to use the modal pop-up. And you can see that right there. So we've got quite a few things that we're going to go ahead and do in this project. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And I'm going to go back to my files panel. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to go up to my sites panel and select new site. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Conte video project and I need to choose a location to save it in so I need to create a local site folder so I'm going to click here on this yellow folder icon and I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop and on my desktop I'm going to go ahead and click right here to create a new folder and I'm going to go ahead and call that Conte video project then I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and hit select and that's all I need to do to set up a new website. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and you can see my empty project here. Now just as in the last project I'm going to go ahead and go into my framework and I'm going to go ahead and use the site starter tool that we have here. And again you can download this framework from my website. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these folders here and these two files. I'm going to go ahead and right click, edit, and copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back into my video project. I'm going to right click on my top folder here. I'm going to do edit and paste. And all of those folders and these files will be pasted in there. And again, if you don't have the framework, you can simply create these folders by right clicking and selecting new folder. You'll see I get a new folder there. I could give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need it. And the same thing with these files that are here, these HTML files. You could create those by right clicking and selecting new file. So now we're ready to go ahead and we also have in the CSS folder a print and a, um, an empty style sheet here as well. We'll get to that a little bit later. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and add the images to my images folder that we're going to need for this project. And you can see if I bring up the finished version of the project, we're going to need this banner image up here. And actually, since it's a rotating banner, I actually have four images. We're going to go ahead and need this title banner here, along with the collage for the top part and the collage for the bottom part. So I'm going to go ahead and again, um, you can get these images in my framework if you download them. They're in one of the sample projects or the Conte sample project. If not, when we get to the point where we need these, I'll tell you what size the images should be and you can go ahead and find your own image for your own project. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to copy and paste those files in. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and again I downloaded these images that you see here on my desktop from my website. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that to open that up and that folder's a little bit large for the video window right now so I'll go ahead and make that a little bit smaller there. And here are all the images that we're going to need for this project including the images for that image gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and select them all. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go ahead and select copy and then I'm going to go ahead and close that out and there is my project folder so I'm going to go ahead and open that on up 
and I'm going to go into my images folder. I'm going to right click and select paste. And when I select paste, all those images will go in there. So now I'm going to close that and bring Dreamweaver back up. And you should see that when I open my files panel up, there are all those images ready to be used. So now that I have my folder structure created and my first two HTML files and my CSS files created along with my images, I'm ready to begin actually constructing the site. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do in the next video. We're going to get started laying out the HTML for this page.